What is going on? My reefing fam, March here, Fragbox TV. I gotta give you an update on this tank. It is looking crazy. Tia's gonna join us in a second. She is, I don't know, what, what are you doing? Let's go ask her. Tia, what are you doing? We what the heck any, is this? We don't have any One second, salt water mixed out. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> what are you doing? She's always up to something. Just, what is that? I'm just trying to get some crap out Anyways, of it. okay, we'll let her do what she's doing. Yeah. Check this out. Yo, what? <laughs> Look at this, we got water, studio, 12, it's coming along. We're gonna talk to you about that in another video. If you don't know what that is, that's our own line of uh, tanks designed here in the store. Let's do this, Look how nice this is. You want a coffee, you good? I need coffee. Oh, she wants, okay, get a coffee. I'll start and then check out the lid, custom lid if you want. What are you doing? Hi, dog. A custom lid for your Red Sea reefer, any size really, right? Yeah. Yeah, made here in Canada, all handmade. Super cool and it can be cut out um, exactly how you like. So we added that because what did we lose? We lost a fishy, right? Oh, the hawk fish. We lost our hawkfish. Yeah, and we want some really cool rasses in here, but you can't really do cool rasses without a lid. This is six line. Yeah, we had a six line and he was kind of mean. The corals are on fire. What do we think about the Neptune sky? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, yep. Yeah. Thumbs up, Neptune. You've done a great job. We're very impressed. One light, 36 inches side to side. And we just turned it down. It was running like, it was running really strong, remember? I think like 60% we're running it right now. Yellow Fiji leather. When was the last time you saw one of these? Pretty cool. What's happening with this leather down here? It's getting no love. Yeah, he's wonky. Some days open, some days not. Yeah, this is really nice. Somebody wants a frag one day. If it grows, actually, one day, one day. If, if we talk, uh, we'll get into the tank in a second. If you want to know what we're running, what are we running? Very simple. Refugium. Yep, a little bit of dragon's nest. Some floss. Uh, disregard this skimmer. We're just sort of testing this. That's like the prototype. A bubble magus curve seven elite. No, a curve five. Curve seven. A curve seven elite. And then as a return pump, I think it's CJ 3.0. Really, really simple. Not a lot going on here. If you ever need help with um, selection, you don't know what to put in your sum or lights, wave makers, we're using a pair of the Nero 5s. We are happy to um, help you with that stuff. Okay, TS Pick, what's your favorite piece in this tank right now? I know what mine is. Actually, I have two. I know. What? The Galaxia. What Galaxia? There's a Galaxia in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're hiding one somewhere, right? Yeah. Where? <laughs> Tia likes to hide stuff. Oh, hello. In the back. You said, let's put LPS in the tank, and I said, okay, but I'm picking a Galaxia. Yo, <laughs> how did we get rid of the dyno? Looks good. Just disappeared, or maybe I sneakily added four conches when no one was looking. Oh, so it's not selling? Yeah, so we had a kind of dino, beginning of a dino outbreak, and we added some conches. Dino, or, dino, dino. Or a dino. Dio, dino, dino. Yeah, the one that goes away and then comes back every morning after you mix it. Dino. Yeah. yeah. Added some of these. We have a fighting conch, there's a spider conch. Oh, when did we get another hawkfish? Oh, a uh, customer dropped it off. Not to get sidetracked. Yeah. Oh, thank you, customer. Shows what I know. Our Zoa Garden is doing really well. I will link in the description. Actually, I'll tell you when we planted it right now. One sec. This out. What is this? Fragbox TV. Oh, that's us. Zoa Garden. Three months ago. Check this what out. What is going on? Three months. Okay, three months of Zoa growth. Check it out. Almost nothing. A couple heads. One or two heads each. Quite small. Only a few. And now, three months. Check it out. Completely filled in. Lots of heads on each of them. And then as they grow, they begin to grow exponentially. So this is gonna grow a lot faster now that it's got you know quite a few heads on a chicken on this side. Little Zoanthid Garden after only three months. Spellbinders are getting no love, huh? No, because you're Kenya tree. My Kenya tree, our Kenya tree. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. I guess, I guess three Kenya trees is a few too many. Hi, how's it going? Oh, cabbage is looking good. Yeah, actually. Didn't we just frag it? We did. Doesn't look like we just fragged it. No, I strategically fragged it. Oh, and you let me keep the, the hammer. I thought you took it out. No, no, no. Oh, look at that. Tia is so nice. I think we don't even need the filter on this summer. Let's take this off. Do we need it? Yeah, we need it. Are these clowns new? Look how much I know. Hello, Mr. No, Frostbite. those are also from a customer. Oh. <laughs> that was, it was a while Somebody ago. just giving us free stuff? Yeah. Oh, what a nice customer. If you're watching, why did he this give it to us? This is a different uh, person. I forget who it was though. Oh, this is just a beautiful, beautiful fish. Check out our Christmas mm -hmm. tree worm rock. Just perfect. Textbook example. Really, really nice. Are we feeding it? No. Oh, interesting. I thought you had to feed them. How come it looks well, so good? We, Because we have a lot of marine snow in here. I'm building a little rhodactus garden up the side of this rock. 
This leather doesn't want to open for some reason. This yeah, one's really, really nice. Yeah, that one. One in the back. Behind Which, that one. Nephthia. Yeah. Guys, this tank is, what percentage would you say soft coral? 96. 96 and a half. Nine, yep. Yeah, maybe a bit more. This is the best it's ever looked. Remember when it was an SPS tank? I know, I'm this in love with him. This is the cutest thing. Doesn't he have a name? Henry? Harry? Frank. Frank. I knew it was something like that. Look at our little clam. Maybe you missed it. There's a crocea nestled right in the rock there, kind of hiding. Is he actually a lawnmower bunny? I don't know if he is. No, he's a Frank. He's got a, like a yellow tail. He's got a cool eye. Yeah. There's a little bounce mushroom hanging out down here. And an OG, I think. Yeah. But it doesn't look like OG. No, it's missing the orange one. Yeah, it's getting no love. This isn't, I don't think, the best spot for no. mushrooms. Check out the Yuma. Is the dog bothering you? Yeah. Mr. Diggs. Stop bothering customers. Go, go, go. Sorry, puppy. Hey, baby, you wait here. Check out the Gorgonian. Lots of flow, but he's loving it. He's not doing good beside the hammer, though. There's oh, too much uh, yeah, touching in this Yeah, too much tank. touching. But up here, I'm surprised he's open. Like, he's getting just, he's getting beat up. They take a lot of flow. It's domestic. Look at this. It was okay. Yeah. It's a spitularia. Tia has shafted it to the corner. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It I takes think, over. I think it's such it's a nice gorgeous. piece. It's something that goes like in the back. I, I like it for the height. I feel like we could use it in here. Maybe that empty piece. Maybe we could like glue kind of an arm going backwards and put it out there. Yeah. There is also a lot of pink. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's the, that's the hard thing with soft corals. It's a lot of the same color. You're never going to... Green and flesh. Yeah, pinks, purples. You're never going to find like blue. Or orange, yeah, sort of. To, to me, they all they more or less look purple. Check out this toadstool. Every time we get a different toadstool, a different leather, on a shipment or from someone, I always sneak a piece and toss it in here. And I'm trying to get as many different varieties as I can. And in the back, we're collecting some cool Kenyas. I got the green, the Dr. Fuzzy, and then the one we call blue pineapple. Kind of like a blue Kenya tree. I guess that's sort of on the blue side. But we're really running out of space. Future plans, I think this Kenya tree's probably got to go. Because I think okay. two of them, like Tia said, is one too many. She's not a fan of the Kenya tree, right? You're not about the Kenya tree. I have it at home. I love I like it. it. but I don't love it like Yeah, you this, this will probably have to go. We can make some more room for the Zoas. Like, wouldn't you rather have spellbinders cover that rock? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe another piece of LPS. We've gone really crazy with the softies. The whole point softies. Yeah, that is the whole point. Easy. It doesn't, there's no maintenance involved. It's literally just cleaning the glass. On a tank like this, you don't have to dose. Um, if you don't water change, you know, the corals are gonna look better. They're like pigs and shit. The dirtier the water, almost almost the better for them. Uh, as long as you're not running into algae issues, which we don't have here, we keep a yellow tank. Some may say the tank is too small for him, but he looks pretty happy. He got beat up by everyone else. We don't have a big cleanup crew. I don't see that many snails. I see an astria. They come and go. I don't see too many. We've got a cleaner we shrimp. Oh, and there's a uh, actually urchin. Actually, three urchins right now. Isn't Shows there? you how much I know about this tank. It's just looking really good. It's probably uh, the nicest. No, second nicest. Is that the nicest? Maybe. The Evo was the nicest. The Evo was the nicest. But Tia's coming back with a vengeance. Going to be setting up one of our in house tanks very, very soon. And we're going to, yeah, she's excited for it. I am too. I'm actually taking one of these home. And you guys can follow me along at my house as I set one up. I think it's going to go on my desk so that I can constantly get ideas and I just want to have, I haven't had a tank at home in years so that's going to be really really nice. Okay, looks really good. I'm really happy with the tank. If you guys got any questions about saltwater fish tanks, saltwater fish, cleanup crew, anything related to keeping a saltwater aquarium, uh, hit us up. You know how to reach us and we're going to wrap this one up. Thank you for watching today's episode of Fragbox TV. We'll see you back here shortly. Bye bye. Haha, you thought we were done. No, Tia says we should put this one in. We should, actually. It's really nice. Yeah, grab it. Wait, why don't we put it in? I know. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys in New York this weekend. Coming to Reef Palooza. Bye-bye.